Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Sister with a Purpose, where I give you uplifting motivational messages and I let you know what's going on. What's popping, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Thank you for all my returning subscribers as well as my new ones. Thank you for all my likes. I appreciate that, guys. Alright. I apologize if I sound a little nasally because, you know, I am recovering from a minor uh nasal infection okay i had the sniffles so yeah i'm not gonna sound hard so let's go ahead and jump right into it thank you most high divine relatives as well as divine guides and higher self all right guys let's see so what is it that my divine collective needs to know? What are the messages? I'm pulling from my tarot affirmation deck. I am sowing positive outcomes to reap the harvest of such. So we have the seven of pentacles. Let me know you've been tending to investments. I soul search to find the answer within. And then we have someone on a solo dolo mission and journey right now. So we have the hermit major archaea. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles letting me know that you're going with this so you can alter and um, reflect on what it is that you think about your current circumstances. Like the things that you're bringing into your material plane, especially money. You're trying to realign with, like I said, whatever your highest outcome, the positive outcome, okay? So you can reach and uh, reap a positive Harvest, god damn, that was a tongue twister. I don't even know why. I give myself time to rest, meditate, and go within. So then it's coupled with the four swords. So this is beautiful. So basically, you're going through meditation, you soul searching, you in hermit mode, right? Because we have the four of pentacles and we got hermit. So yeah, somebody's really in their thoughts in their mind because they're trying to figure out how did certain things take place which have recently took place in their lives happen. So let's go ahead and find out what the hell done happened, y'all. I did give myself like two days to get a little rest and recover. I know I um, put out some videos of me and my daughter's play area, but those were pre-recorded videos. Like, um, I know I, I uploaded it to YouTube maybe yesterday, but I filmed it maybe like the day before that. But yeah, me and my daughter, I had to make sure we got a rest and I had to tend to her, so I didn't have time to really um, dedicate any extra time to YouTube or for YouTube. I'm sorry about that, guys, but I didn't miss y'all. All right, thank you for all my likes. And for you all who um, don't know, I no longer have that email that I, I originally post. If you missed the video where I talked about I had someone stalking me and threatening me and my child in the email that was provided, this is why I turn my comments off as well as I don't let anyone personally get in contact with me because I'm transitioning and I'm not, I'd be damned if I let somebody up in my energy. Now, as time passed, those things were changed, but for now, this is what it is. All right. Divine Spirit, what are the messages? What's been going on with my Divine Collective? I do have some music playing in the background. Hopefully that won't be bothering you. Ooh, so we have Sagittarius. Karmic Aunt. False Prophet, goddamn. We have a Sagittarius karma aunt who is a false prophet, or you could be the Sagittarius. The answer is no and legal trouble. The hermit. I soul search to find the answer within, and the answer is no. So if you've already been soul searching to find the answer within, the answer is no. So you've been going within, you've already reached a conclusion that the answer is no behind expansive progress with someone, about traveling somewhere with someone, about, ooh, taking advice from this false prophet because Sagittarius deals with Jupiter. Jupiter, de ooh, Jupiter deals with religion, travel, expansions in any manner, to be honest with you, learning, 
you know, learning about other cultures. You're finding out this karmic aunt is a false prophet. So the answer is no, you would no longer want to follow her advice. Someone could, this karmic aunt could be in legal trouble. She's trying to go with it and meditate. You are going, I know for a fact that you're doing this because you, <laughs> you called it. You felt it in your spirit, something right. So this is why the answer is no. Yeah, so this karmic, look, high priestess with the eight of swords. The hell? Yeah, so whatever she thought that she was a high priestess about, and then justice at the top of the deck. Whatever she thought she was a high priestess about, I'm here to tell you that she's now all in her thoughts and mind about something that she told somebody because she knew her ass was false. Okay, what? Oh. Yeah, you discovering this. This is why you went into meditation mode. You're discovering. You're like, what the hell? Something not right? Because the page of wands talks about a discovery. It also talks about celebrating and shit like that. But the page of wands, I feel, yeah, change of fortune and destiny. Yeah, I feel, like I said, with the queen of swords up here, I feel that you went within to discover that something that was told to you was inaccurate, was a lie, was not right. And this person could have pretended to have like high spiritual knowledge. And this person is in legal trouble. And she all in her mind about being in legal trouble. She probably could have asked you for some money because Sagittarius deals with expansion. Maybe she got uh, debts are expanding behind her being a false prophet. Yeah, the hangman, she feels stuck, okay? The hangman. You were starting to feel stuck your damn self. This is why you went ahead and went within. Okay. Yeah. You see, you feel, okay. Ooh. So the Knight of Cups normally talks about a romance, right? But with the Knight of Cups paired with the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like somebody was trying to not romance you, but how can I say this? They were trying to romance you out your money. Put it like that. Like, they were trying to make sure that they gave you a cup of emotion to secure some type of financial outcome. This false prophet. Yeah. Yeah, she was. Okay, have you, give me one about Sagittarius. Why Sagittarius? Oh, shit. These them cards all fell on the floor. Somebody sad about a happy home. We got the three of swords. Wow, the Hierophant in reverse, the Knight of Wands in reverse. I don't even know which what came out first. I'm not gonna take any of these cards because I don't know what came out first. I wanted to get cards for each particular card on the table, but someone's walking away from this card. She could be getting a divorce. You look at this, and anxiety too. Oh, excuse me, guys, if I'm sniffling throughout the video. I apologize about that. Give me one for Sagittarius. Why Sagittarius? I just want one divine spirit. Why is Sagittarius here? I'm going to take the first one, Striff. So, yeah. And then we got the penny pitching card with Striff. And then we got the magician. She was trying to manifest something because she was in the energy of the Four of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Okay, look. There is a... Because Sagittarius deals with expansion. And this that's what's screaming to me. She was trying to... Ooh, with the magician, she was doing some type of mind manipulation so she can get out of this four of pentacles energy. This is why she was trying to come in with a cup of emotion. Oh, it is around tax time, too. But anyways, this is why she was trying to come in with a cup of emotion... Because she was trying to either manifest you to be in a space of lack. So there could be a transfer of energy. Or. She was just trying to manipulate you into giving her something. For prophesizing to you though. But the answer is no. You turned down this offer. This aunt is in legal trouble. Tell me the answer is no. Yeah, okay. The answer is no. Whatever this fault, this aunt could have gave you some advice or some shit like that. Told you to keep the faith with somebody. The Ten of Cups deals with a family member. So this, even with your coming aunt, that's who we're talking about. 
and I do have Sagittarius here. I'm starting to feel like maybe you could be a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and they can be a Pisces because we have the hangman, knight of cups, and the ten of cups. But the hell, they could really be any sign, to be honest with you. But the answer is no. Oh, shit. I'm starting to hear that uh, some of y'all pay a relative, a karmic aunt. You didn't even know she was karmic. Some of y'all paid a karmic aunt to do spell work to manifest somebody back in your life. Oh, shit. I hope we not. this is not the path we own. I hope this is not the path we own. The Page of Pentacles. She's seen that you could have been trying to manifest uh, a happy home life as well. And she came in and wanted to stop that. But why? Why? Why Why is the Page of Pentacles and Ten of Cups here for no? Because it's a change in a fortunate destiny. Because of something that took place. Why is this Wheel of Fortune here? I'm so nosy, guys. Sorry about that. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? And, and the Wheel of Fortune is the Sagittarius card. The Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Swords. So she want, see, I told you she wanted some type of financial opportunity. And she, now y'all in strife with each other. Because you found out this bitch is in a penny, penny pension energy. And I seen the five, I seen, I seen, and now she burdened about this shit. That's an, another Sagittarius card. But look, I had seen the Five of Pentacles and I ain't saying nothing. I should have said something. I feel like she's in legal trouble and she's trying to get money wherever she can. This is why she went into the Four of Swords because you had to, remember we kept saying Queen of Cups in the beginning? You had to have told her about herself. Like, nah, this is not the person I'm supposed to be with. Nah, I'm not, I, I'm not going to do X, Y, Z. And um, nah, I don't need your help to manifest nothing back. Some of y'all took it, some of y'all didn't. For, the, for those of you all who did not take it, you found out that she was trying to cause conflict with your happy home. She wanted to bring strife against you because you didn't, whenever, whenever she tried to approach you about, you didn't take the deal. You was like, nah, I'm good. I'm doing my own thing. You was in hermit mode. You discovered the truth while you was in hermit mode. And because you had mental clarity, she want, she decided she wanted to work against whatever you were trying to have and end up telling you some, some false information. Basically, like, speaking over your life. Basically, like, telling you so you can make it come true. By putting the thought in your mind. Look, the hermit here and right now. And you was trying to you was trying to figure out where are these burdens coming from. You was getting advice from the wrong person. They feel burdened. Because you done found out that this bitch was in competition with you. And she wanted to sit up here and act like she was trying to help you bring stability in your household. The answer is no. When she in her time of legal trouble. I can't tell you that. I don't want to say that. Give me more for the answer is no. I was gonna say don't help her out, but shit, I'm not. That ain't even for me to say that. It, that's really up to you. Give me more about this nine of swords. Oh, excuse me, guys. Damn, damn, yeah. Just stay away from her ass. I didn't want to say it. But two of the worst cards came out. This bitch is in her mind. Excuse me for calling your aunt a bitch. But the non the eight of swords, the nine of swords, what the fuck did she do? I'm gonna have to pull out. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna have to pull out. An illusion of love as well. She stuck in her mind about some shit that she done prophesied about or tried to do something financially and wanted you to join her. Now she's in her head because of this legal trouble. Now she's in her head because there's been a change in fortune and destiny for her too. Because then I say someone, someone that could be getting a divorce. That's the 17 of swords. So she got mental clarity. You got mental clarity by, about the lies. And she does too. She has mental clarity. Ooh, she has mental clarity. Why? Her change and her fortune and destiny is happening because what she wished for you is now being done to her. She's all in her mind. 
Okay, let's go. Let's go ahead and get some more. What what is this? What is this? Why is this here? Why are we talking about this? Why am I speaking about this to my divine collective? Show me more, divine spirit. What is it that I need to know from this day concerning this situation? Ugh. Too late to apologize. She's in agony. She in agony. Agony. <laughs> She wants to apologize, but it's too late for that. You already know when we're thin. You already done seen the illusion. You walked away from her because the Knight of Cups, first of all, ain't it? The Knight of Cups, first of all, let's get into it for real, for real. Okay? She was, somebody was trying to, yeah, you, I was going to say, you walked away from her and look at this shit. Hold up. If I can pick it up. Oh my gosh. I was just getting ready to say, let me tell y'all what I was going to say. I should have just said it and then seen the cards. See, you, I was going to say, let's get into it. Because the seven of cups plus the knight of cups is the eight of cups, right? And then we got the seven of cups plus the ten of cups is a seventeen of cups, which still equals the eight of cups. Then we got the ten of cups plus the knight of cups is the two of cups. So this person was working hard to come against your fucking relationship, wanting you to walk away. She either wanted you to walk up. I'm I'm channeling for a lot of different people. For some of you all, y'all went to this aunt to do spell work to get somebody that y'all is no longer with y'all back. For others of you all, this person was speaking and telling you, "Oh, this your person. I can do some work for this amount of money, and he'll come back." And you like, "No, I'm good." Now she feel rejected. She uh, she in her feelings. She already in her feelings because she already got legal trouble and everything going on with this divorce. Then there's others of you all who's you just have a uh, who's a false prophet. Meaning, because I did see the hair for in reverse. Meaning she goes around and act like she's spiritually wise and she's spiritually woke when in reality she a karmic. She's stuck in her mind. She jealous. She vindictive. So she's been speaking ill will over your relationship. And she had a, a hand in you all's relationship coming to an end. It's three different scenarios out here. Because I'm like, damn, I was channeling this. Then I started channeling that. Then I started channeling that. So I was like, let me make it clear. Because everybody's on different timelines. Okay? But whatever it was, was a motherfucking illusion. Look at this. Look at this. The Ten of Pentacles is right here. She was trying to get your Ten of Pentacles, but it was too burdensome because you started going within. Yes, you and this person, y'all had your own problems. So if you did walk away, you walked away because you know y'all had your own problems. But she still was here trying to paint the illusion of love to help give you advice. Let me give you a little. Let me give you a little advice. And you, you going within. You soul searching. You meditating. And you like, bitch. I don't need your advice. No offense, auntie. Not my auntie, but I'm speaking about your auntie. No offense, auntie. I don't need your advice. I forgive my past for what happened to me, and he and he want me to forgive him too. So I don't have to come in and do no daily check, day weekly, daily, whatever check in. Some of y'all live with an aunt. I don't have to check in with you. She probably wanted to know, ooh, and they jealous they can no longer control you. You know what I'm saying? Like, they probably, like I told you, they you probably really looked up to this person growing up. Ooh. She's not God's favorite. I am. I told you she was trying to interject this to your buses. She, this bitch is a hater. And it's your own auntie. Let's get these cards. Psalm, say your prayer. Psalms 91. Then I tell you she in regret. For whatever she told you, regretting the mind manipulation. Because this shit is backfiring on her tenfold. Like if some if she got some of y'all to walk away from your person based on what she said, and that's not to say that you're not strong enough to do it on your own or stand in your own, but you really looked up to this person. Like you really thought this person knew what the fuck they was talking about. Because you already felt something your damn self. But in reality, you had already felt something your damn self because y'all were already going through something. But she put the nail in the coffin when it came to you a person. And you can't, and I'm not saying blame your auntie because you could only blame that person. This person was a lesson or a blessing. You keep it moving, right? But it's the fact that you have to watch her ass because 
If she so fucking ready, so nice. Yeah, an illusion of love. So nice is now on the damn TV. If she so fucking ready to speak ill against somebody just like that and then turn around and ask you for money, I would think she fucking shady as hell. But you got all the advice in the world. I told you she was in competition for the Ten of Pentacles. She probably seen or probably pulled cards or probably knew that you and this person could work out your, you all's differences. And, and get over certain things to reach um, a common goal within your household. Because the Ten of Pentacles talks about a secure family. Business minded, wealthy. God's protection financially. Alright, let's let's we're gonna we're gonna do two for these and then we're gonna keep it moving. She regret the mind manipulation. And she honestly think that she was God's favorite just because she had spiritual gifts, but people with spiritual gifts gotta know that they aren't the only people with fucking spiritual gifts. If God blessed you with a spiritual gift, what makes you think he won't bless the next person? Come on, y'all. You can't. So some people close minded and you just have to forgive them, love them from afar and keep it moving. So yeah, Pisces, strong Pisces, the moon, she's in, in her anxiety and depressive thoughts. My goodness, what did she do? I gotta find out what she did. Let me keep it moving. Oh shit. Thank you, Most High. Thank you. Thank you. I love it when they give it to me like this. Do y'all see this shit right here? Damn, I've been caught doing spell work. A victim mode on 1,000. I cannot make this shit up. And then didn't we see earlier? Oh, we didn't. We didn't. That was another video and I didn't put it out. I, I put out another. I recorded another video that somebody was worried about their public image. But I deleted it and did not put that shit out. Miserable. She was caught doing fucking spell work. Oh my God, y'all could have caught this bitch doing in the midst of it and you didn't even know. For some of you all who did not go to her to do the spell work, she did it anyway. For some of you all who turned her down, she did it anyway. Okay, for some of you all who didn't even know this bitch was doing spell work, she did it anyway. Now she's regretting even trying to do this shit. Say your prayers, this person was really trying to come after you. Look, didn't I say I seen the five of pentacles earlier? See, you're in the nine of pentacles all by yourself. So if she thought you're the nine of pentacles, she's the four of pentacles. She going in between the four and the five of pentacles. And she like, well, well, I know she, she the nine of pentacles. So if I could just present her with this ace of pentacles, maybe I could energetically take the ten of pentacles. Bitch, where? And I hate to be even talking about family like this. I love family. But some family, family, you're family by actions. By blood, you're relatives. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, not divine relatives, but regular relatives. But you were out in the cold. You were out in the cold that she was actually even doing this. You were out in the cold that she was trying to, you had an intuit. You know, let me tell you something. The high priestess with the nine of wands, the five of pentacles. And then on top of that, you already got the hermit, which is the number nine card. Then you have the four and the five of pentacles, which equals the nine of pentacles. So, yeah, you had an inkling somewhere. Even though at first you didn't know where it was coming from, you was like, nah, something not right here. Something not right here. And you stood your ground spiritually. Some of you are, some of you have already been saying Psalms 91. Some of you have already been reciting Psalms 27, 37, 107. Whatever Psalms, whatever you use, Quran, affirmations. Speaking over yourself in the morning when you get up. Some of you all have been already implementing this. This is why you stood your ground. Even though you may have been wounded and bruised by the things that transpired. Which were beyond your control. You released it. You went within to find the answers. And you found out no. You don't need to move forward with this person. Or no you don't need to move forward with this family member. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get an affirmation for this and close it out. I got five of wands at the top of the deck. Competition. I have mental clarity. I'm not even going to, we just going to cut the deck and this is going to be your affirmation. I release conflict and drama. Boy, I can't, I cannot. I, I know y'all hate when y'all hear readers say I cannot make it up, but seriously, we can't. We just got done talking about this bitch and you all been in conflict and you got competition on top of the deck. And what do we have as the affirmation? The five of swords, which is already on the table. 
This is nothing but divine confirmation and enlightenment for someone out there. If this message doesn't resonate with you, fine, cool, no problem. But I still love you and thank you for watching. But if you do, damn, you know what's popping. You know what's popping. Let's go ahead and read this affirmation, girl. Walk away from that shit. Don't worry about it. I release conflict and drama. I embrace change for a better outcome. Look at this shit. It's all about outcomes. The seven of pentacles and the five of, of, of swords. You're tending to your investments. Like you are on a singular path. The hermit, which is the nine, five, seven, nine. Those are odds. Those are not evens. It means you're working solo dolo. I am sowing positive outcomes to reap the harvest of such. I release conflict and drama. I embrace change for a better outcome. This is all you want. All you want in your life is a better outcome in love, a better outcome in connections, dealing with family, friends, work relations. You don't give a damn who it is. You just want a positive outcome, a better outcome, change. You don't mind doing it. And see, that's what she didn't get. This is why she ended up getting caught. Because your divine relatives, she just she really fucked herself when it came to y'all bloodline and her karma. She could her her fucking answer. Y'all answers could be looking at her like, what the fuck is she doing? And and if she, this lady's an auntie, that means she older than you, so she should know better. But she too busy being karmic. See, I feel like some of these older women don't even know these terms. So they can't decipher when they're being overbearing, when they're overstepping their boundaries. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, all right, Divine Feminine. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.